dacă vă aduceți aminte de ușa asta, n-aveți. Dacă vă aduceți aminte, anul trecut v-am mai arătat-o. Pentru că am venit să vorbesc aici cu niște oameni, de fapt, cu un om, am vorbit mai mulți, dar voi ați văzut unul care mi-a explicat care este situația cu mașinile electrice din România, cu stațiile de încărcare, cu posibilitățile de extindere, cu așteptări. Hello. 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 Hello, sir. How are you? I'm okay. I'm beautiful, nice and young, like last year, but better. What are we doing now, today? Today, uh, I decided to take you once take again you. for the, let's say, electric vehicles this time. And we go experience. eat. So, we will go by this big beast, as last time. Somewhere to eat something good. Uh, through the city center to feel the city traffic and, you know, how the electric car is performing in that. And after, we will stop. We will not eat, but we will test the electric bike. Please tell me about the charging station. Romania, even with its size, represents only 0.1% of electric vehicle cars market. So our main intention, and I think not only us, but there are a lot of private companies involved in that, is not only, let's say, increase the number of the charging stations. At the moment, there are more than 100 operated across the whole Romania. 50 are operated in Bucharest and uh, last year when we were debated we had like uh, two stations. Uh, what we did uh, during the year we designed it and prepared another 14 stations in Oltenia. Now we have applied uh, for EU funds because this is uh, activity which is heavily supported for mm -hmm. EU funding mm -hmm. and I encourage uh, like every participant on this market to go through this exercise because I believe it's important and an important source of funding which is always mm -hmm. needed. You know the guys knowing you probably? Uh, no, no. They, they are waving at you. Maybe they are like from our, my neighborhood. That's why. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Are the, the private companies interested into buying an electric car fleet or Listen, like I will tell you our example because we are testing this car for more than one and a half year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We drove it thousands and thousands of kilometers. Uh, we use it uh, rather for city commuting, if I may call yeah. it like this. Yeah, yeah. So this car is usually covering those 20, 30 kilometers per day. When you just carry the administration papers, you need to travel from one city, uh, part of the city to another. And uh, with one exception of uh, kind of uh, breakout during the charging, we are very pleased and it's also very economical, like on a, on a long term. But part of the smart uh, city uh, concept usually, it's also a uh, better design, uh, let's say, parking system, including supporting, let's say, environment friendly, technologies like electricity cars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of lot of systems you may have, starting from the one as you say, purely dedicated, a smart, uh, I don't know, parking spots when you can park only with the, uh, let's say, electric car. And you can go even advanced to that because now there are already the technologies, they are quite simple. You put a sensor there and if it's free, You know, the sensor sends the update to a system, like Waze or mm -hmm. something like that. And when you have an electricity car, you have online in your system immediately knowledge where you can park. So that can be like a concept that can definitely encourage, first of all, people to, you know, buy the electricity car. If the city is running kind of supporting scheme, like we debated, mm -hmm. like the, definitely then those applications are uh, the one that can help you and support you. The whole environment around the electricity car is more built like, you know, online, open, friendly and this and that. So, let's say, you can be like more integrated. You think it's, it's, it's a good idea to implement an electric car lane? That would be perfect. I would tell you like, the electric car with combined with the carpooling, yeah. that might be a very nice solution. Again, maybe you can you can start with the carpooling itself, but at the end to have it with electric car would be uh, exactly very nice incentive that can impose to implement at least in the part of the let's say cities here or um, on the highways. Definitely, and I would start with the cities because that's the main problem. The traffic here, uh, you will see when we will ride the bike that. This city is quite, let's say, beautiful, even green, but it's quite heavily populated by the traffic and we will hit it and smell it definitely.
No. Even like riding through the park. Honestly, this is uh, for the first time that I'm going to ride an electricity bike. So I'm curious how this piece is working on. I have an uh, electric bike for I think uh -huh. two years. I have a PG, it's a, it's a great uh -huh. bike. Uh -huh. But this is a Romanian bike. Uh -huh. You know, this is a, a brand that we used to love and we still love. Uh -huh. During the communist uh, era, this was the brand, Vegas. We can see actually like, you know, you see the cars passing by, like how fast it will be compared to them. Yeah, we can, we can choose one traffic. to yeah. compare ourselves yes. at the end if we yes. are in the front or no, not. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I like it, you? I like it, of course. Well, the bike is nice, mm -hmm. and uh, the engine delivers enough power. No, 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 it was, it was perfect. We went even faster than cars in the traffic, of course, because they stop also on the lights. But we made a very nice uh, progress. I would like to kindly invite you for uh, another session that we can do next year together. Yeah. Let's do it rather like a e-mobility day that we can try and promote what is uh, e-mobility about that it's not only about electric car uh, we can uh, speak about some concept like the smart cities we can see the progress how for example electric bikes are doing after one year in uh, Romania definitely we will come with more ideas Usually I'm not dressed like this, mm -hmm. I'm dressed like a, a serious a, guy. No. And if you are going to now burn me on a fire <laughs> in the sake of your revolution, <laughs> I stop and go home. <laughs> uh, I will stop the edge. I'm trying not yeah, yeah. to lose my uh, uh.